Good day panelists, I'm Irish Caracol, a resident of Paralatondo, Manila, and I am a technical vocational teacher education, major in hotel and restaurant service technology, applicant of senior high school at Universidad de Manila. I'll proceed now to the teaching demo proper. Okay class, let's all stand for a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Lord God in heaven, thank you for the new day you bestow upon us. Until this moment, we still have our borrowed life and strength from you. We worship and praise your holy name. This moment, we will continue to study and acquire new knowledge. May you bless your students with witty brain to think fast and an inquiring mind to be curious on whatever knowledge they will learn today. Most importantly, Bless them with your wisdom and a heart that will follow your commandments in order for them to become worthy in their studies. You know that in these recent times, most are suffering from hardship and economic crisis. We humbly ask you to bless the parents of your students. May you shower your abundant blessings and prosperity to each of their homes so that we can use this not only for our daily lives, but especially for the performance of the duties to your holy name. We hope that you heard our prayer. We ask of this in Jesus' name, Christ our Savior. Amen. Please be seated, class. So, good morning, class. How are you today? Are you good? We are all good, ma'am. It's good to hear that you are good. So before anything else, kindly pick some pieces of trash on the floor and kindly arrange your chairs properly and afterwards settle down yourself comfortably. And now we will check your attendance. Who's absent for today? None, ma'am. No one? Okay, very good that you have complete attendance for today. So before we proceed to the next topic, let's have review first of our lesson yesterday. So, what's our lesson yesterday? Yes, Ms. Salvador? Our last meeting was about how to manage with intoxicated guests. Okay, very good. So, our lesson yesterday was all about dealing intoxicated guests. So, what is intoxication? Anyone? Yes, Miss Florida? Ma'am, I think intoxication... It's used to describe any change in perception, mood, and thinking process. Okay, very good. What about the most common signs of intoxication? Me, ma'am. Yes, Miss Celeres. For me, some common signs of intoxication are loud speech, rude behavior, drinking alone, drinking too fast, and slurred speech, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, I'm so glad that you learned a lot from our lesson yesterday. So, I think you're now ready for our next topic. But before that, we'll have an activity first. I have here a different kind of table appointments. Are you familiar of these things? Anybody? Anybody will volunteer to identify these things? Ma'am? Yes, Miss Salvador? Those will be used for table setup. Okay, you got it right. So, what do you think this deal is intended for? Ma'am? Yes, Miss Florida? This utensil is intended for breakfast, ma'am. Okay, correct. Now, here's a question. What do you think is the relation of our activity to our topic for today? Me, ma'am? Yes, Miss Florida? It relates to the contents of our topic for today. Okay, thank you. You have an idea now. So, what do you think of our topic for today? Ma'am? Yes, Miss Florida? I think our topic is about table set up for breakfast. Yes, you got it right. Our competency for today's lesson is all about food and beverage services or the table set up for breakfast rather. And my learning objectives are at the end of the lesson, to the students should be able to First, identify the appointments for setting up the table for breakfast. Second, demonstrate the table set up for breakfast. And third, actively participate in setting up a table. So let's proceed our new lessons about table set up for breakfast. But before that, do you have any idea on table setting? Anyone? 
Yes, Solaris? I think table settings refers to the way a table and it's set with table words for eating and serving. Yes, correct. Thank you. So, table setting or place setting refers to the way to a set table with table where, such as eating utensils for, and for serving and eating. It is also the layout in which the utensils and ornaments are positioned. Table setting is a very important element of inter interior decor. Their appearance tells visitors where they should trust these food serving establishments and its cuisine. Clean and tidy appearance of tables inspire confidence and arouses to desire and to have a meal in this place. So here are the examples of table set up as you can see. And about cover, can you please read Miss Florida? ...of a place setting for one person. Okay, thank you. So let's take a look of what's the descriptions and looks of cover like this. It is a placemat used to primarily protect the dining table from heat, food, or uh, water stains. So in setting up the table for breakfast, here are the procedures that you should know. First, place dinner fork on the left. Dinner knife on the right with blade facing left. Second, position folded napkin on the top of the placement or show plate. Third, place the water goblet on the top of the dinner knife at a distance of one half inch. Glasses and beverage items are to be set up on the right side. Fourth, place condiment at the center beside the flower base. And fifth, place bread plate on the left side of the fork. And lastly is place the cup and saucer on the right side of the cover with the handle in 5 o'clock position. Class, I have a video here about proper arrangement of the appointments on the table. I mean this video presenting the table set up for breakfast or table setting so please watch it. Okay, so do you have any question for our lesson for today? None. Once you have learned this lesson, you will have knowledge on how to set up a table for breakfast. You could use what you have learned in a real-life situation. For example, when you work on a restaurant and hotel or on hospitality industry, you have knowledge and skills in doing your job in a workplace. Now, my question is, are you ready now to make or perform a breakfast table setting? Not yet, ma'am. Okay, so be ready tomorrow because you will have a hands-on activity and also you will have to draw the proper arrangement of table set up for breakfast by group. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's proceed to your performance practice. At this moment, you will do the real setup by the following procedure stated on the screen. I will give you 5 minutes to practice it by group. And once you're done, please inform me so that we can proceed to your quiz, okay? Okay, ma'am. Are you done? Yes, we're done, ma'am. Okay, class, please get one half crosswise paper. Answer the following questions. First, what have you learned in setting up a table? Second, what are the steps in setting up a table? You may start answering now. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. We're done. So for your assignment, copy that one. Research about the different types of napkin folding. And write the answers in one half crosswise paper. Okay, are you done? Yes, ma'am. So that's all for today and I hope you've learned a lot from this morning. So may I request everyone to please stand up for our closing prayer. Please lead Miss Florida. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear God, Dear God thank, you thank you for the lesson today. It's great to find out new things about the world. world. It's, it's fun, fun trying new skills and learning to read and write. Help us remember all we have learned today in class. We, we look, look forward, forward to tomorrow, tomorrow. and 
and all the wonderful things we will be taught. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, thank you class, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you, ma'am, and see you tomorrow too.